you have to face a problem, I'm pretty sure that the first thing that you try is the easy way. And I mean, in pharmaceutical chemistry, our problems are the disease. So the first thing that we try is maybe look around us in the nature to see if there is a plant maybe that has some activity against this disease. Back in the 70s actually, in the National Cancer Institute in the United States, they found out that there was a plant, the Taxus brevifolia, capable of killing cancer cells. And I'm pretty sure that how happy they were at the time. But before you can use something, before you can release something to the public and use something for pharmaceutical inquiries, you have to understand something. Which is the component inside the plant that has some activity and how it works? I mean, that component has to interact with human cells. Which is this target? It took to them 30 years to understand uh, that the target was the tubulin, that is a protein inside our body that is necessary for cellular reproduction. So, if you hinder its activity, you cannot reproduce ourselves. So, if you're still thinking and talking about that, it means that the problem is not solved. If you think about that molecule, the taxol, we can see that it's fairly complex, so it's difficult to synthesize, it means that it's expensive to synthesize, so even the cure would be expensive. It's big, it's difficult to vehicle actually a molecule like that to the location where is the cancer located in our body. And third, actually this is common to all the drugs, cancer cells are smart. It means that it's, I mean, it's the purpose of life trying to survive. So if you try to kill a cell, it tries to, to react in some way. So it's still, we still need a way to kill these cells. But the only way to do that in, in, a, in a hopefully way, I think. It's trying to understand how these two complexes interact with each other. And what I'm trying to do here, believe it or not, because in 50 years, we still don't know how the tubulin and the taxol interact with each other. I'm trying to understand that. So I'm using a new way, not a standard way, because we fell in the way. I'm using a computational technique. It's like putting in a pot a molecule, uh, filling with water, and then its target, the tubulin, and see how each other interacts, uh, interacts each other. So if we can understand the driving forces, actually, of the binding process, we can maybe design new drugs that are capable of killing cancer cells and that are more potent than taxol and maybe are less toxic, and maybe they will be able to kill the cancer cells that are taxol resistant. Thank you. <laughs>